best thing about dating me. I'll give you a good night. Out. I think the best thing about dating me is my predictability. Some might call that boring, but some might call that stable. I'm f stable. My empathy, I'm really in tune with my emotions and my partner. I don't ever want them to be upset, and whenever they are, I do whatever I can to change that. I know how to cook. Definitely my ass. My future is quite literally behind me. I'm gonna give you what you need. I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna care about you. And I'm gonna be your homie. Like, that's the whole package, right? That I will always be the smartest person in the room, so when we're surrounded by idiots, you'll still have a good conversation. You will have the best sex of your life, guaranteed. I f like a porn star. Besides the sex, it's gonna have to be my heart and like how I can care and care to you. Everything. I feel like I am such a good significant other. It's not hard to be a good boyfriend to me. I'm affectionate, I'm fun, and listen, I'm cute. Look at this smile. My lip personality, my confidence, and my sex game. I'm a ride or die b and I don't judge. I was raised by hippies, so you can pretty much be yourself. Are that you are guaranteed a good time, and I keep things f lit. Big red flags in dating me if I stop being affectionate. I know I look like a walking human gladiator in the streets, but like, I just wanna be a little spooned and affectionate. And if I stop that, that should be a red flag. I'm not going to emote just because you're emoting. Another red flag would be, just look how I look. I'm gonna be very expensive, I'm not cheap. I'm very direct. My grandmother always told me, say what you mean and mean what you say, and I do just that. I am so picky that at this rate, my vagina is drier than the sand beneath me. I'm a flirt. My job is to flirt, okay? Take my clothes off and I flirt, whether it be on the stage or in real life sometimes, I'm a flirt and that can get misconstrued and I'm sorry, but your boy likes to flirt. Maybe I'm too straightforward and people get intimidated by that. I would say there's a book. <laughs> I have a very up and down past and if you read that book, you're gonna be Pretty shocked, <laughs> but with each red flag comes a message. The fact that I'm still considering talking to my ex makes me a walking red flag. We all know this is a bad idea, but I'm here anyway. If you really disrespect me or lie to me or betray me, I will not make it easy on you. There aren't red flags to me, but can be a red flag definitely to you is how I can move on very quickly. Since it's not for me no more, what we had can almost be completely irrelevant to my future. I'm a psycho I'm manipulative, hot-tempered. All that being said, I'm worth it. I'm a bit of a lad. I'm an alpha, and some lads don't like that. I'm a little stubborn, and sometimes I don't tell the whole truth. I am so calm, but if you really try me, I'm crazy. I'm a stubbornness. Sometimes I don't listen. I just get in over my head, and I don't want to deal with anything. I'm not the best communicator. Sometimes I shut down. Sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I want to cuddle you even though I'm angry and I expect you to want to cuddle me when I'm angry. So, red flag. Five deal breakers for a significant other is a liar, a cheater, a thief, someone who's disrespectful, and someone I don't love their mom. Lying, 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 lying. Uh, and the other ones being disrespectful and not treating other people with kindness like the strangers. If you disrespect others, it's like you're disrespecting me. Cockiness, no humor, no drive. If they're boring, and if they won't pig out with me sometimes. Need to be able to have a pizza, right? One, you're a liar. That rules out about 90% of men. Two, you're immature. You act like a five-year-old and you don't care who knows it. Three, you're annoying as hell. Four, you don't care about boundaries. You don't respect people. You don't respect me. You're out. And five, you have no goals, no plans for your future, and you're kind of just floating around. That you don't get my humor because I make jokes constantly. Hygiene is a deal breaker. You got to brush your teeth, wash your face, wash your feet, Mike. A lack of self-love, expectations that you don't have even for yourself. You know, relying on me to be your fuel of being or to make you happy, you gotta do that for yourself first. Ignorance and ignoring someone that you're involved with is very disrespectful. Lads who have <laughs> shoes. Shoes is a huge thing. Lads who have bad teeth, I'm sorry. That just shows you're not hygienic. Lads who can't cook. I can't cook, so I need a chef to cook me everything. 
lads who take themselves too seriously. I like to be funny. If you're not, get the out here. Living at home with your mammy. Come on, I need an independent fella. Ugly feet, bad hygiene, busted teeth, toxic friends, that's big, that's real common. Loyalty, boom. If you don't know how to communicate, if you don't know how to go deep with me, if you're not into excitement and kind of being a risk taker, if you're not a ride or die, and if you're highly judgmental of other people, like look at yourself, like F off, don't judge people like that. Somebody who's very superficial. If I can't hold a deep conversation with you, it's not gonna work out between us. Second one, halitosis. If you got funk breath, please go that way or I'm gonna hand you a Tic Tac because I don't want no smell around me. Bad hygiene, someone that's inconsiderate, someone that is not like loving, someone that's not loyal, and you gotta be obsessed with me too. You need to be hot. I need to be sexually attracted to you. Otherwise, it's never gonna work. You need to be strong. I need you to have a backbone. Otherwise, I'm gonna walk all over you, you have to smell good. If you smell bad, never. You have to be witty. If you can't fire back, if you can't banter with me, then I'm bored. And I want you to be emotional. I want you to get riled up. I want you to get fired up. When I get you angry, it turns me on. You lie, you're disrespectful, you're not honest, you don't like to party, and you don't like to laugh. Well, I would say my taxi trait is like that I take my dog everywhere with me. And they're like, can you leave Egypt at home? I'm like, no. So if you date me, you have to date my baby too, my dog. Oh my God. Exes. I think there's such like a hot sexual tension when exes come in. They're like, ooh, like I hate you. You hate me. Like, mm. I like to be in control of things. I've never had the opportunity to really just kind of like take my superwoman cape off and just, you know, let the man take control. I've always had to be in control. So, you know. Where he at? Do you have to plan sex with me? Because sometimes I just don't feel like it. Is that I'm very emotional. <laughs> and I'm needy. I just need a hug. That I am literally not capable of shutting up. So I'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and also keep talking. Is that I'll be on my phone 24 seven, but I never text people back. I'll just mentally reply and then I forget about it. Like in pretty girls pictures. Just because they're pretty doesn't mean I like them. I'm not trying to do anything, it's just pretty. I am always on my phone, but I will never text back. Sorry. Sometimes I only tell 80% the truth. It's still the truth, it's just not the whole truth. That I get a lot of attention from women and I definitely give it back. That I am never wrong. I'm flipping that around and somehow making you wrong. I'm just never wrong, babe. Speaking over people and not letting them finish saying what they need to say. Maybe I'm a little too friendly. Sometimes they say it's flirty, but I want to go with friendly. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just be toxic because like it's fun to be toxic. Don't blame me, blame yourself. Me as a partner, I am very loving. I will support you, encourage you. I'm like literally like an awesome life partner. I push people to do better than before I push myself. So that's probably like my flaw. To be engaged with somebody, to be with somebody who's funny and to just, I don't know, do stupid shit together. Someone who can add to my life and not take away. As a partner, I think I am fairly independent, but I'm constantly trying not to be clingy. And so I don't know if it's a defense mechanism or I genuinely don't need you. Love is hard for me because I have a guard up all the time. So if I could find a guy that's willing to put that guard down and really dig deep into me and find what makes me tick, then hopefully I'll see his <laughs> I think I'm a phenomenal boyfriend, but I'm an even better ex-boyfriend because I have four ex-girlfriends who are married. <laughs>